just get the run around. Wham bam, cat foul, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry, these bad guys got no alibi. Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Louse. No baloney, this guy's no phony, honest to the bone. Step on the gas mask, trap that bad guy. Well, hello there, Tom. No one walks these streets at night. The sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. In the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side. So kiss your pants goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. She's Some of the many newspapers under the control of gangster Al Catone attempted to undermine the achievements of the Untouchables by saying that any success they had was down to dumb luck. But the citizens of Cheese Cargo knew that these successes were the result of long hours of surveillance prior to carrying out raids on warehouses full of bootleg cheese. After so many successes, it was unusual to see the Untouchables for once lose their patience. The day it happened began at Cheese Cargo Central Station with a long wait for Gordon and Mr. Wilson, and already the cracks were beginning to show. <laughs> huh? Come on, Gordon, wake up! The train's late, but it's due any minute, and you're fast asleep. Come on, snap out of it! Uh, I'm not asleep. Say, what time is it, huh? A quarter to twelve. I knew this would happen to me, Gordon. According to all the statistics of the last six months, trains have been running behind schedule on an average of 8.5 minutes. But today, with my mother coming, it's nearly two hours late. Oh, come on, Wilson. Stop getting your care filly in the care fuffle. Pierce's friends said they'd wait for us, didn't they? Well, I certainly hope so. I wouldn't like the plan I've made to impress my mother to fall through. I don't know what you're worried about. I thought your mom was only visiting you because it's your birthday. Shows you don't know my mom. Don't matter how old I am, she thinks I'm a kid. Calls me her little cheese straw. Makes me eat everything, even her yucky cheesecake. Life ain't fair. Your mom's the best cook there is, and you can't stand the taste of cheese. Hey, is she making a cake? Yeah, we're getting the cheese from Pierre's friends. Well, it's a quarter to twelve, and there's still no sign of anybody. Well, I can't wait any longer. Pierre must have made a mistake about the time. Yeah, huh? I guess you're right. Okay, then, let's get going. It's about time. I thought this train was never going to arrive. Come on! Right, all right. Oh dear, there's still no sign of her. Hey, Kelly. Ain't that her? Oh, my little cheese straw. Come and give Mama a big wet sloppy quiche. It's been so long. I'm disappointed in you, my little cheese straw. You don't write. I've only heard from you five times since we last saw each other. I sent 17 letters and three telegrams with a total of 957 lines. Well, you should write more. Ah, oh, good, here comes my baggage. Now, Mrs. Wilson, you just leave all that to us. Thank you, Gordon, but I'll carry this. It's a present for my little cheese straw. I don't want it out of my sight till I give it to him. Come on, now. We need to hurry. It's really getting awfully late. You look so pale and skinny, oh, my little boy, cheese Oh, boy, here we go again. Have you not been Don't eating? start with that not eating stuff again. There, now. Take a look at the car we've come to pick you up in. You know how to drive already. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, boy, do I know how to drive. Just watch me. Better fashion your seatbelt. I'll show you some real driving. Oh. oh. Ah, I just got the gears mixed up. Don't worry, everything's fine. Hey, Speed King, don't you think we're going a little fast? Pierre and his friends are meant to overtake us in their truck, and at this speed, they'll never make it. I guess you're right. Sorry about that, Ma. I guess driving fast has become a habit with me. I'll slow down so your hairstyle doesn't get blown out of place. Don't worry about me, my little cheese straw. I love speed. Hey, look at this idiot. To know why people want such powerful cars, they're gonna drive like snails all day. Come on, let's get past it. Hey, that must be 
Pierre's buddies. You sure about that? Yeah, yeah, sure. That's them. They said they were going to overtake us, and that's exactly what they've done. Plus, the smell of cheese is absolutely unmistakable. You can take it from me, Wilson. That's the truck, all right. That truck looks suspicious. You know, Gordon, I think so, too. Perhaps we should pull it over, and I'll use the automatic wheel locker to stop the truck. It's this button. Oh! Oh! oh. I got a feeling you hit the wrong button, Wilson. Huh? Wow! I'm coming, Mama! Guess we'll have to pull it over in the old-fashioned way. Hang on, Gordon! Ah! Guys, a lunatic! Hit the brakes! Whoa! Oh! Okay, Gordon, let's go and get him! It's the cops! Quick, get down and hide! Don't worry, Mom! We'll have you down in no time! FMI, step down from the truck, bozo! Well, what is it? Uh, I do something wrong? Well, we won't know until we search the truck. Okay? Uh, yeah. Whatever you say, officer. Come on, hurry up! What the hey? Will you take a look at all that? Didn't Pierre tell you that we only needed one box? Yeah. Guy's got cheese for brains. Never mind. Agent Gordon, open one of the boxes and check the contents. A pleasure. Ah. Aha! It's cheese. Ah. Cheese, huh? And I suppose you have the proper freight permit, do you? Right here. Don't move or I'll fill you with more holes than a Swiss cheese. Huh? What's he doing? That's not what we agreed. Oh. Ah, good old Pierre thought of everything. Now Ma will see what a tough guy I am. <laughs> Hold it, four eyes. I got an itchy trigger finger to throw down that heater before I ventilate you, okay? <laughs> uh huh? Ha! <laughs> Sorry about that. It looked like you needed help, okay? Thank goodness nothing's happened to the package. That would have been awful. Must be a pretty weighty gift, huh, Wilson? You! Transporting bootleg cheese without a license? We'll confiscate some cheese. <laughs> and I'll let you off the hook as it's uh. my birthday. But come to the police station tomorrow, okay? Oh, sure, yeah. All right, let's go. But you're not gonna leave them there like that, are you? Yeah, these people have got a lot of respect for us, Ma. If we say turn up at the police station tomorrow, they will. You did a great job, guys. Pierre will pay you just as we arranged. Oh, sorry about the blow, by the way. Uh, what happened? I don't know. Maybe them cheese ball agents are dumber than we thought. Yeah. Let's get a move on. Our friends will be waiting for us at the Cheese Paris Club. Hey, I got an idea, Mrs. Wilson. Maybe you could use some of that cheese to make a little cake or something. Oh, I always make a lovely cheesecake for my cheese choice birthday. That's great. Thanks a lot, Gordon. Mmm, uh, Madame Wilson, your cake has an exquisite aroma. I'm glad you like it. I always make something special on my darling's birthday. Oh, I understand entirely, Madame. Well, Wilson, how did the fake cheese bust work out for you? Oh, not at all well. For a start, the train was late, and that didn't impress Pierre's friends because they acted like they were real gangsters. As a matter of fact, my mom had to rescue us. At least the Armstrong 326 impressed her. Oh, sort of. Okay, is everybody ready? Let's go. Lights, music, let the party commence. Oh, let me help. Happy birthday to you. Mwah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> a toast to Wilson, our faithful friend and fellow agent. Yeah! yeah. A, a toast, toast to Wilson! Wilson. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Uh, He's getting older! He should find himself a nice girl. Uh, oh, dear. Come on, my little cheese straw. You have to blow out the candles. What was that? What did you say? Blow what? 
The cake, Monsieur Wissant. I sure hope you congratulate me as passionately when it's my birthday, Deborah. That depends if you bring your mom or not. Well, go for it, lad. You gotta blow them all out in one go, Wilson. Come on! <laughs> yep. I see you haven't lost any of your cooking skills, Mrs. Wilson. Thank you, Elliot. You're very kind. I'd like you to meet Jack Armstrong, a good friend. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Wilson. You're the mechanic on my son's car. Well, you should have the back seat fixed. It's really loose. Someone could hurt themselves. <laughs> That's enough shooting the cheese. Come on, Wilson. I can't wait to taste it. Gordon's right, my little cheese straw. Cut a big piece for yourself. But, Ma, you know full well I can't stand cheese. Ah, don't be such a baby. Look how big and strong your friend Gordon is for eating cheese. Yeah, but I'm getting smaller and weaker by the minute. Can we eat now? All right. No need to get your feta in a frazzle. I'm doing it, aren't I? Huh? huh? <gasps> we should have cut it sooner. It's gone off. I don't understand. This has never happened before. I'm afraid that cheese must have been substandard. Well, where did you get the cheese from, Gordon? It's what we took from Pierre's friends earlier on, Elliot. Are you quite sure, monsieur? Well, then I will call my friends, but this is strange. They usually supply me with such high-quality cheeses. Okay, Pierre. Right. Come on. Ah! Tastes kind of strange. Ah! Who cares? Je comprends. Bien sûr. Ah, voilà. Merci, mon ami. So, Pierre, what did your friends have to say to you? It wasn't them that you took the cheese from. What? That's impossible! My friends were waiting for you for over two hours, and when they saw that you were taking so long to show, they thought the arrangement had been cancelled, and they left. Voila! The cheese didn't come from Pierre's friends. If that's the case, who are the guys in the other truck? Hey, take a look at this, Elliot. Chinese letters, let's see. Is this the same box that you took those cheeses from, Wilson? It is! What's so special about it? Huh? huh? What is it? What happened, uh, Gordon? Are you okay? Uh, Gordon! What do you think's happened? He couldn't resist making a cheese hog of himself. While you guys were over there, he's ate nearly the whole cake. I only ate a little bit. I just thought I'd test it. I think we'd best get him to the hospital. All right, let's not waste any time. Come on. Another case of indigestion, Doctor. He's with the rest. Very well. I suppose we'd better go and examine him. It looks as though you swallowed a whole big heap of cheese not long ago, right? That's right, but how did you know? There is no big mystery, madam. Over the last few days, we've had hundreds of patients admitted to hospital with the same symptoms. Bubbles from the mouth and stomach pain. You say there are hundreds? That's right, it's a real epidemic. Is it serious? No, your friend will be all right, but someone should do something to get this shipment of contaminated cheese off the streets. Leave it to us, Doc. Well, good luck. If you'll excuse me, I must see my other patients. What are you thinking, Elliot? I was just wondering who's behind this. The cheese came from Cheesnatown, and Catone hasn't been involved in anything there so far. I've got an old acquaintance in that neighborhood. I'm sure he'd lend us a hand. Well, what are you all waiting for? <laughs> Run along and catch these hoodlums before the whole town goes down with it. But shouldn't someone stay with Gordon? I will. Thanks, Mrs. Wilson. We'll let you know as soon as we find anything. Well, we better be going. Take care of our little glutton, Mama. You just take care of yourself, my little cheese straw. I'd like you to meet Charlie Lao Shu, a friend of mine when I was in the police force. You can trust him. Many thanks, my friend Jack. It is a pleasure to be of help to honorable gentlemen. Moti? Thanks for helping out, Mr. Lao Shu. Jack's already told you our problem. Here's the label. Maybe you could tell us something about it. I will try. Ah, it's a here, yellow sheet. Now I know your friend very huh? sick. Sheet? Of course, yellow sheet is laundry, so they cannot be making the good cheese. We should check it out. How do we get there from here? There is an old Chinese proverb. Confucius, he say, it's easy to go anywhere if you only have directions. You must go straight down Jumping Rabbit Street, along Street of Crooked Snake, through Dark Dragon Alley, across Crazy Monkey Street, until it crosses huh? Driver's Tiger Street. Oh. Then you will find destination. But it's more easier if you go there in my company. You mean you'll take us there, Charlie? Of course, Flynn Jack, and right now, if you wish. That's really great, Mr. Lao Shu. Let's go. Here we are. Okay, Charlie, you wait here in the car. If we're not back out soon, contact our friend Gordon through the hospital. Can you do that? Absolutely, no problem. Huh? 
So, Doc, you're saying I can go now, right? Yes, yes, you're out of danger, but you shouldn't eat cheese for two weeks to avoid a relapse. None for two weeks? Come now, Gordon, don't get so depressed. I know, it's just the thought of no cheese at all for a whole two weeks. Mr. Gordon? That's me, what do you ah. want? My name's Charlie Lao Shu, I'm friend of Jack. Your friend's in big trouble. What was that? Yes, Mr. Gordon, they asked me to come see you if they take too much time. I wait all night, but they no come out again, so I hear. Oh, what's happened to my little cheese straw? Your honorable friends make visit to Yellow Sheet Chinese Laundry in Chisnatown, but I don't remember them taking any cheese straws with them. Right, Charlie, thanks for the tip. Can you take us there? Okay. Huh? Where are we? What happened? Jack? Oh, I'm fine, Elliot, but where are we? Have you any idea? From the humidity level, I'd say we're in a basement. Ah, miserable intruders have regained consciousness. I will inform Golden Mandarin, who will decide your fate with his wise justice. <laughs> What's going on? Golden Mandarin in a it Chinese me, laundry? Jack. We leave car here. Got any idea why they went to the laundry, Charlie? I don't know, but they think it had something to do with that cheese. Look at this! Uh, What's that sound, uh huh? A gong calling them to meeting. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Prepare for the Golden Mandarin. At last, we're gonna meet the big cheese who runs this whole laundry. Look, those guys have uh, got them prisoner. My cheese straw, what will we do? Wait and see, Mrs. Wilson. Wait and see. I see that we have attracted the attention of Elliot Mouse and his uncomfortables. That voice is familiar. Yeah, I recognize it too. This machine enables us to mix cheese with soap to produce large amounts of imitation cheese with very little initial expenditure. What a way to ruin good cheese. Mandolin accent suspicious. We have what you might call a moderately successful business. Yeah, by poisoning half a cheese cargo. Yes, and this will enable me to reach a second objective, to take my revenge against a city which turned its back on me when certain unthinkable sent me to prison. Which reminds me I have a score to settle with you. You're nuts, Mandolin. Who are you? Creep. I am your worst nightmare. Take them to the soap and cheese processing machine at once, and we'll see just how unmeltable you really are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let go of me. You won't get away with this, Dragon Breath. Oh, yes, I will. You will soon be nothing more than a rather soapy piece of cheddar. He is disgraced to community. we got to act fast. Things are getting kind of ugly. Well, I think I may have an idea. I just have to go upstairs for something. I want you to create a diversion, Gordon. I won't be long. The great untouchables will be positively inedible. All right, Mrs. Wilson, we'll do what we can. Are you ready, Charlie? Of course, exercise good for Charlie. You won't get away with this. Our friends know exactly where we are. Yeah, that's right, Ugly. Our friends will be here at any moment now. <laughs> hey, this thing is moving pretty fast. Don't worry, Wilson. Gordon will be here any minute. All right, stick him up. You're surrounded. Don't listen to him. He's on his own. Get him. No one can stop my revenge. All right, low lights. Time to meet my friends. Bill, Bull, Bell, and Ball. Time to go to work. <laughs> That's the stop, Bill. Ah, whew. Right, Bull. Let him have it. Ah. Oh. Oh. Wait. <laughs> 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 
He's run out of bullets. Get them, you fools. Get them. Gordon did what he could, guys. Guess we're for the cheese dip this time. Okay, now Charlie's turn. Hi! 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 Oh. Hi. Mrs. Wilson, come on! Hurry it up, Gordon! It's the cheese grater! Ah. Oh. oh, brother, now I know why I don't like the taste of cheese. <laughs> you fools, it's only so I want, I'll get them. Oh. Hey, I don't get it. What's with those guys? Why aren't they coming after us, huh? Ah, uh, that's very Come simple. Come on, move it. What are you doing? Get out of there, Mike. No, move it. Huh? If you had ever ironed your own shirts, Gordon, you would know that starch makes them nice and stiff, and now you can see the effect it has. Ma, you're terrific. You saved us all. I always look after my little cheese straw. No one looks after my little cheese straw like his mama does. Now let's see who's hiding behind that golden mandarin mask. <laughs> Flesh rat! My goodness, he isn't even Chinese! That explains his terrible accent. And I knew his voice was familiar. He must have been released from the penitentiary. Well, this time I hope the cheese ball gets a long sentence. And all the ones that have been following him have given the Chinese community a bad name. They too need to be taught big lesson. <laughs> Don't worry, Charlie. With honest citizens like you, Cheese Town's reputation will always be respected in China. The Untouchables capture Bogus Cheese Gang! So, once again, Elliot Mouse and his Untouchables freed the city of Cheese Cargo from a most devastating threat. Sure. Although this time, I suppose you could say that Lady Luck was on their side. Now here's your present, my little cheese straw. Ah! The box that she knocked his dog out with? That's right, and I couldn't tell what's in it for all the cheese in cheese cargo. I must say I'm kind of curious myself to see what could be so heavy. Huh? What the? I don't know what to say, Ma. I'm completely bowled over. What's up, my little cheese straw? Don't you like it? It's not that, Ma. It's just what made you think I'd want something like this. Well, I called Gordon here to ask about your interests. And I told her that we've been going to the bowling alley a lot, Wilson. But I keep score. I don't bowl. Sure, I know that. That's why I bought you this abacus from Cheesna Town. You can use that to keep score, and I can use your ball to go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time for your cake now. And this time, huh? the cheese is only top quality. But you can't have any, Gordon. Remember the doctor's orders? Oh, that's not fair. Not fair at all. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Luck was with them, all right. It was sure lucky Mrs. Wilson came to town to celebrate her son's birthday. Real lucky. The Patriots Stadium in Cheese Cargo is the setting for the latest Grand Slam adventure of Elliot Mouse. As baseball legend Babe Mouse hits the screen and Madame Roquefort hits the police chief. Can the cunning Catone get away with masterminding this perfectly timed robbery? Can anyone get away from Madame Roquefort? Or can the heroic Elliot once again defuse the criminal's plans? Join us for the most explosive episode yet of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables! Round down neighbors, terrible news. I read it in the papers, the city's got 